All right, I recorded the crossword this morning, Friday, September 13th. I even made some joke about that Friday the 13th. And uh, unfortunately, I jinxed myself because my microphone didn't record. Anyway, uh, I'm watching back the video. And I'm playing it back at one and a half speed, so hopefully we can get through it a little bit quicker. Started with one across, suggest... Oh, the crossword is by Brummy today. One across, suggested right way for ambitious young man. And I was thinking it might be a word for suggested, followed by R and ST. And the definition would be ambitious young man, but uh, nothing came to me for that, then gave a lift to wife, married to creep. Well, I thought wife would be W, and then I wasn't sure if married was just a joining word or we'd have to use an M for married, but I couldn't really see a W and M together in a word. So I strike out on that one too. Then seabird requires total protection ribbed support. Well, I did think we would put a seabird inside a word for total, so it would be protected by that word. And I think I even, <laughs> excuse me, said the word some, um, but I didn't get the connection to a ribbed support. I was thinking something architectural, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I was thinking anatomical at that point. So my apologies, I'm sure this looks a little bit strange compared to my usual videos. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get rid of these controls at the bottom, but um, I'm using a new program to view the video today. Anyway, was successful Kentucky candidate unstable? Well, this one I did think... Kentucky is KY, um, and if you were successful, you won, and obviously that spells wonky. What I wasn't really sure about, though, was, well, how is that, um, that can definitely be unstable, but how would it be candidate? Anyway, um, moving on, go round, fair for fish appetizer. Well, I did think it would be a word for go that would go around a word for fair. And go could be a turn in a game. Uh, fair might be okay. Uh, but I think the fish appetizer th put me off. So I move on. In Polish, indicate a city with an ancient history. I did think it might be a city of ancient times. And I thought maybe inside of Polish, which are which could be polish or rub, we might put a word for indicate, and then finally have a letter A. So yeah, I type in an A in here, and that comes back to bite me later. Uh, but yeah, I could not think of what that ancient city would be. So yeah, um, had a very tough start to this crossword. Uh, I have better luck with this one. Unexpected happenings might be the end of your trousers. Well, I certainly remember back in the 70s when it was all the range, rage to roll up the end of your trousers, your turnips. And uh, an unexpected thing might be a turnip. That's a turnip for the books. Pacific place involved with a B. Uh, I thought Pacific is going to be the definition meaning peaceful, and we would anagram place with AB, and I spotted we'd have ABLE in there, and then I quickly spotted that would give us peaceable. Isn't there something about a peaceable kingdom somewhere? All right, this one is broken in a way that uh, I don't approve of, but. A brash character that's used to stress. I thought of 
In writing, if you want to stress something, you might put it in bold, bold type, which would be a brash character. Now, not without accepted rental adjustment, definitely twig that we would have to anagram rental, but I was having trouble getting eight letters. What would the other two letters be? Not without, and then accepted. Yeah, so I, I was a little baffled by that one. Okay, grass stuff going back and forth. Well, usually when we see something like going back and forth, it's a palindrome. And I, you know, I have the R and the A there, which would mean this word would, would be something A-R-R-A. -R -R -A. I tried putting in cereal to see if I could make that work. But then I think I realized it must be a palindrome, but I did not think of it at this point. Um, I think I do maybe put in the A and the R and the R and A here but the uh, type of grass does not come to me. Okay, beach-like setting for hot drink. Yeah, I, th I was thinking it might be a double definition and I was trying to think of hot drinks ending in Y but uh, was not having much luck with that. Of course, I completely misread the clue here. I will come back to it later and finally work it out. Uh, pirate state acquires a Durer composition. So I thought this is going to be a U.S. state acquiring or surrounding an anagram of a Durer. I was close, but not quite right. But I did look up at the letters we have, where we have the U, um, and I did realize we probably have the word marauder here as a pirate. Yeah, there we go. And so we actually have the state Massachusetts at the start, and then acquires is simply a linking word. Okay, pads protecting large detective. Well, I thought we were going to put an L for large inside a word for pads to get a detective, and then I thought, oh, maybe it's the name of a specific very famous detective, uh, Sherlock Holmes. So pads are slang for your home, and with the L gives Holmes Parking increase starts to break even, thank heavens. I quickly got a phrase for thank heavens would be praise be. P for parking, raise for increase, and then the starting letters of break even. Uh, I'm thinking 1.5 speed might be a little too, star, uh, too fast. Anyway, impressive old city takes on American philosopher... Yeah, I thought either the definition would be impressive. Uh, I did think the old city might be er, U R, which comes up a lot, but I gave up on that one. And then crown belittled by Duke, media frantic. I did um, think we would have to anagram media, and Duke is usually D. Uh, I think having the A there threw me off in this one. Maybe not at this point, but I think here I was really just struggling to understand how the definition could be crown belittled. Anyway, moving on. One on the up as college gets closer or closer. Well, I was thinking one on the up is someone who's ascending, and then I thought, oh, ascender, it begins with A-S, as, then C for college, and a closer might be an ender. 
Uh, so that's how that one works. And now, officer rejected beer event site. Yeah, I thought we might have either an officer backwards or a beer backwards, and beer is usually ale when you need to use it in a charade, putting little bits of words together. I gave up on that. Sound recorder, world's ultimate in noise modulation. Well, I did think we would modulate our anagram noise and then put in the last letter of world. But um, I did not see that. I think I have to come back to that one later. Now, disheartened England supporters crowd round for drink. Well, I really thought disheartened would apply to England only, and so we might start with ED. And then supporters could be fans or bras or a whole bunch of things. Crowd. Round can sometimes be an O, so I thought it was probably going to be a drink. But again, trying to start with ED, uh, nothing was coming to mind. All right. Uh, after end of the Athens debacle, the man put sword away. So I did think debacle is another anagram indicator. We're going to anagram Athens, and the end of the is the letter E. And then the man might be he. Um, and then, so I thought, well, put sword away. Isn't that something to do with, like, sheathing your weapon? So I kind of worked backwards that there must be a word, ensheath. I remember I wasn't sure if that was nine letters or not, but uh, it is. So not a word I know, but just from the word plays, I was able to get that. All right, that was all the acrosses. Going back to the downs, I think I look again at some of these others. Yeah, the one with the M and the P, I was thinking I definitely should be able to spot that. However, it turns out to be a dish I have never heard of before. I don't think I resort to looking up wordplays.com yet. Uh, here again, I'm, yeah, not really sure about this other than polish could be rub. So this one I thought, oh, it might be a phrase meaning uh, not for nothing. Um, and so I thought it might end in no or so. But Somehow, oh, I think I saw that suffering can be an anagram indicator. So if the word stopped is anagrammed, with love being the O at the end, then we would get opposed to. And so the definition, this is very clever, is simply not for. And so the first nothing is the first O. Um, yeah, so if you're not for a proposal, you're against it, you're opposed to it. I think that was my favorite clue today. There we go. Yeah, I wish I could figure out what's going on with my microphone. I'm not even sure if I'm recording right now, but fingers crossed. All right, moving in secret to stifle deputy head's shrillness. Well, I thought moving in secret might be an anagram of in secret, and that would stifle the first letter of deputy. And I saw I would have the E-N-C-E ending and then worked backwards to get stridence. I don't think I've heard stridence. I've definitely heard stridence C. 
Anyway, stopped admitting Republican folded. I think this one is fairly straightforward. A word for stopped, you put in an R for Republican. And ceased gets an R for creased. All right, what's been written at great length of wall applications? Well, yeah, I wasn't too sure about this one, other than maybe it is what has been written at great length. Uh, this is one that I, I do get the answer eventually, but I don't understand it. Now, old political party that is not without a center. Well, whenever I see that is, I consider if it could be IE. Not without a center would be just the N and the T. And so if I, I think I say, well, what if I have an IE and T ending? And I realize I have a word for old, which is ancient. Therefore, the political party is the ANC. Usually we get a British political party, but we have seen the ANC in the crossword not too long ago. All right, decline when drinks announced. Yeah, so I thought it must be a homophone for drinks. And it would mean decline. I don't think I get this one at the first reading. I think I have to come back to it later. Yeah, I'm spending a lot of time thinking of uh, drinks. All right, vehicle-free place in Cumbria. That's just a yarn. Well... I was thinking of um, maybe there is a town in Cumbria called No Car that's famous for its sheep or its yarn. So I went to Wikipedia to look up No Car. There was nothing. But I did see that Carlisle is in Cumbria. And I thought, oh, if it's vehicle free, you take away the car. And we have had the... Uh, thread or yarn lyle a few times to my memory l-i-s-l-e and there it goes so that's one where it just pays to keep doing the crossword there are words you're going to learn that you've never seen before but uh, it's worth trying to remember them because they're probably going to come up again all right so i looked here at the philosopher and i thought oh wasn't there a guy Epic, I would have thought Epicurious, but maybe that's because of the, uh, isn't there a YouTube channel or something, or a magazine or something, Epicurious? Anyway, I realized impressive is epic. The old city indeed is Ur, and then American must be U.S., and so it must just be Epicurious as the philosopher. All right, where do I go next? Yeah, the what's been written. Yeah, I don't know if I get it at this point or if I have to uh, resort. To, I think this is one I had to use wordplays.com. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so I think the sound recorder, I realize, must be Edison. Now, I don't know if they mean the person, as he was a sound recorder, or he invented a sound recorder of the Edison Company. Again, I come back to what's been written at great length. Uh, yeah, I really should have got this one. Yeah, so here I think I've... I thought, oh, ale is going to fit in the end. And therefore a site might be a locale... I'm still not 100% sure why it's clued as a vent site. The officer is obviously Colonel C-O-L backwards or rejected. But I don't understand why it's a vent site. All right, I think now I think of 
a way you might drink is to lap. So laps sounds like a lapse, which could be a decline. I, I don't think I think of the word that way, but anyway. I think here I, I see that the drink espresso will fit. And crowd could be press. If you crowd around someone, you press around them. There's the round is the O. And so the disheartened applies to both England and supporters. The first letter of England, the last letter of supporters. I found that a little uh, tricky. I think, yeah, I'm not sure if that is normal usage of disheartened, but anyway. Oh yeah, so here I'm looking again at crown belittled and I'm not realizing that I've, well, yeah, I should realize that I've just guessed at that A and it is in fact wrong. So, I'm not sure how much time I spend thinking about this before I realize it is an anagram of D plus media. I'm still thinking about it, apparently. Yeah, I can't believe I'm uh, stuck on this one for so long. I can't remember what I was wittering on about. I'm sure it was fascinating. Ah, okay, so out of nowhere. I must have paused um, and then looked up diadem. Uh, so it is a, like a headband, a jeweled headband that might stand in for a crown, be a smaller version of a crown, and therefore very cryptically defined as crown belittled. Okay, I have a feeling I'm going to go to wordplays.com for this and see, of course, screeds is one of the possibilities. I don't get the wall applications. Yeah, I don't understand that. And when I recorded this this morning, uh, we're, uh, 15 Square did not have the blog yet. And I haven't I've been out all day, so I haven't had a chance to check that. All right, I think I do realize that polish could be sand, and so maybe sand goes around the outside. Yeah, I think I'm going to put in the N here. No, okay, false alarm. Um, ah, yeah, so I think I do realize if that is some, then the seabird could be a turn. Do I realize that? Surely I realize that. Yeah, there we go. And that gives the sternum which I think the sternum supports the ribs, or the ribs attached to the sternum. Anyway, very clever. And I realize that beach-like setting might be sandy. Well, beach-like is sandy, and that is the setting for the letter H for hot, and that gives us shandy, which is a drink. Yeah, and I think I do realize that married is only a joining word. We have W for wife. Oh, no, I'm here. I'm saying if it was W, what would that do for one across? Okay, I go back. Do I come up with the answer here? Yeah, honestly, I cannot remember. I think I may go to wordplays.com for this one, excuse me, and um, 
And it turns out to simply be a cryptic definition. There's no wordplay involved. And uh, yeah, I'm still, I think I was thinking of something like wise, wise words are, yeah, no, I gave up on that. Back to the fish appetizer. Yeah, so I had to look up this one, roll mop. I've never heard of it. It was, was it a dried herring or something that's rolled up with other stuff put inside it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I didn't understand this one either. Other than a go in a game might be a roll. I'm not sure about that. All right, looks like I'm also going to give up and look up on uh, wordplays.com what will fit here. No, <laughs> sorry for the false alarm. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really... Uh, flailing around i think that's the only phrase for it we've ha all had those days i think yeah i think i'm working out here ah uh, so if it's an anagram of rental it's probably ternal and then internal if something is accepted maybe by the group it is in and then the anagram. And so the definition is not without or not outside, therefore inside. And uh, now I realize this, if you creep along, you inch along and put the W for wife in front of it and you get to raise something to winch it. So now that other W is confirmed. Yeah, I think I was like very doubtful there could be two Ws in this word. Yeah, here I thought it might end in R for right and ST for street or way. <laughs> but um, wise worst, west worst. Um, anyway, I see it's westwards. And of course, it's the Horace Greeley, I think, was who said it. When a young man asked him for advice, he said, go west. I always thought it was go west, young man, but maybe it's go westwards, young man. All right, now surely I, I think of sand here. And we have the S, we have the A, we have the D, so yeah, sand. And then I remembered Samarkand as a city with an ancient history. Uh, so inside we have uh, indicate, I think, must be mark. And I think it goes with an A. Yeah. And then I realized the palindrome for grass is marum. All right. Uh, so here I went over and Manehi's blog was not there at the time. Um, so, if you know the reasons for 22 across, 3 down, 4 down, or 18 down, please let me know. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks as always for watching, and have a great day.